Well, now at 11, imagine you have problems with eating and sleeping. You question your self-worth. You even have suicidal thoughts. You try to treat the symptoms and nothing works. Well, it's called treatment resistant depression. One psychology publication says it's a reality really for almost half of all the people who experience major depression disorder. But anchor Christian Hartman is here with us tonight with the treatment that is giving some patients reason to hope. Kristen. Yeah, guys, a local viewer called and asked why we hadn't done any stories about ketamine infusion. He said it made his life 1000% better. So I asked to speak with his Cincinnati doctor who declined. I still wanted to know more, so I reached out to the OSU Wexner Medical Center in Columbus, where the infusion treatment is also offered. They allowed us to follow one patient's process. Everyone okay? Yes, fine. Good. This is Susan Lowe's way of going to battle with her depression, something she's lived with for decades. Since I was in elementary school. Really? Mm -hmm. So about how many years is that? Closing in on 60. More recently for me, it's been a heavy gray fog that just pushes me down. It makes it hard to do anything. It's half a life. At the end of the day, you weren't willing to accept half a life. No, I never have been. When something stopped working, I immediately started looking for something else. She says she's tried medications, transcranial magnetic stimulation, and electroconvulsive therapy. They didn't keep her in remission. How did you hear about ketamine? I Google depression every once in a while, um, especially when it's getting bad again. And it was. So when we met Susan, she was receiving her fourth ketamine infusion. You're owning your life more. Yes, 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 I'm more in control. At the Harding Behavioral Hospital at the OSU Wexner Medical Center. Doctors say ketamine has long been used in surgery to induce anesthesia to put you to sleep. People have also used it recreationally, and it has the potential for abuse. But for Susan and other patients with treatment-resistant depression, it's lifting the fog. For each visit, an IV delivers the low-dose ketamine. It costs about $500 a treatment, and sessions require extensive monitoring because it's not without risk. That's why OSU screens its patients. The response that we've been getting has been um, very um, robust in patients who, uh, who have been having depression for a long period of time. Do you think that this can be a point of hope? Yes. I would say it has been a breakthrough treatment. Because she says it's getting people out of depression crisis. On the long-term outlook, though. We are cautiously optimistic. Again, wanting to know more about the long-term uh, effects, uh, the, the side effects, the, the benefits of this uh, medication. This application is relatively new, and even though you're seeing it at major institutions like OSU, the FDA has not approved ketamine infusion for depression. But it has approved this nasal spray delivery system for esketamine. Places like OSU and UC Health soon will be administering it in a clinical setting to help patients with treatment-resistant depression. Susan says those options mean everything when you're just trying to survive. But I don't want to live that way for the rest of my life. So that's why you're trying ketamine? Yes. So Susan was scheduled to have a sixth infusion today. Dr. Virk says she's doing great. Will the ketamine keep her in remission? Too soon to tell, but it is another tool in the toolbox. Now, ketamine is not the first drug to be used off-label, thanks to convincing benefits in another area. And this, I hope it works. This really is, is a pricey topic here. $500 per treatment, and we're not talking about $500 and you're good to go. You're talking about several treatments. And several treatments. Wait, and also, is that covered? Uh, so right now, it's out of pocket. The question becomes, will insurance bring the cost down eventually? We'll see. Well, I guess we find out sooner. Yeah, well, a lot of research. people, though, are saying it's a lifesaver for them, yeah. you know, a year later after treatment they're saying it so you know 